had an interview today. Working at this place is probably gonna be dangerous. Now I'm gonna get a discount? I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm so happy! I got hired! I'm so excited! They kinda just hired me on the spot because I'm so goddamn fly. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm on my way to Milwaukee. I'm gonna go get fish fry with my mom. Happy Friday, TJF. bad storm last night. I'm driving back to Burlington on Highway 100 in Hell's Corners and all the lights are out. <laughs> Holy shit. And it's nice driving through. I fucking hate driving through Hell's Corners on Highway 100. It's a geriatric center. I can't fucking stand it. We already got spring 2015 popping. Dropping, reps of P dropping, Magic Jordan dropping, Obi dropping, not to mention me dropping. Wake up with me, this weekend, this weekend, uh -huh. past like two years i've really like honed in on like a morning routine i've really tried taking that serious been a lot of trial and error because son of a bitch <laughs> I've been just really trying to perfect some daily habits and like a routine that fills me up, makes me feel good, preps me for the day. It's been a lot of plug and play with things, when to do those things and like how consistently you can stay doing those things at that time, blah, fucking blah. I feel like I have a pretty solid routine that I've been able to stick with. It's not even about like, oh, I did this really dope routine for just a week. Like nigga. <laughs> It has to be longer than that. I give energy to myself. I pour into myself before I pour into anyone else, anything else that I have going on in the day. I do these four things for me. The first thing I do, I journal. Specifically, I do these things called morning pages. If you're a creative at all, you should read the book The Artist's Way by Julia something. It's a really, really, really good book for creatives. Humans are creative by nature, and the book kind of explains that. The creative side in us is usually dormant because of our fear and all this shit. But it recommends this thing called morning pages and it's the first thing you do every morning and you just kind of brain dump to get all the noise out before you start your day and it's been one of the most healthy things it's really helped me with my mental health it's helped with my creativity it's helped with my anxiety it's just been like really fucking dope after my morning pages depending on the weather and shit i usually go for a walk i do something outside to get some sunlight and then i meditate for 10 minutes 10 minutes has been like my cap right now i'm trying to do like 15 minutes i can just barely get through 10 right now <laughs> but i've been doing 10 minutes pretty consistently and boy i used to think meditation was some kind of like hoax i just didn't get it and now that i do get it oh Oh, oh. I'm like, wait, I don't have to be thinking 24 7. I can just exist. And the last thing I do is I read. And last year, I'm pretty sure I read almost a book a week. I probably read about 50 books when I was in Arizona. I've probably read over 100 books since COVID. I love reading. I love learning shit. I love hearing other people's perspectives. It really opens up my mind. It opens up how I interpret the world. It challenges my current ego. And it's healthy to do stuff like that. So I try to do it really consistently. Yeah, you should read too. I really recommend it. I journal, I meditate, I go for a walk, and I read. And those four things really only take me like an hour in the morning. So it's really like, bitch, you don't have enough time to just do those four things for yourself. Come on. Now. They've been game changer in my life, my healing journey, my relationships with myself, with others. It's been really good. It's been one of the best things for me, for my productivity, for my sanity. I'm in B-Town right now. I'm at a park. I just got here. I got my, my iced coffee. I can't even resist. I haven't done my four negotiables yet, so I'm gonna do them here at the park. There's someone like checking on the fire alarm at the apartment. I'm like, I don't wanna be there. I just hate that kind of shit. Like, please don't talk to me. Don't ask me questions. Don't look in our cabinets. <laughs> this is the book that I'm currently reading. Pretty fucking good. You could probably read it in a day. It's been really good.
this that sleep berry, nigga. <laughs>